Hello, this is second uh, presentation from uh, two where we will uh, perform a Monte Carlo analysis uh, for fleet uh, operational uh, uh, analysis to pick the best uh, uh, maintenance uh, plan. And uh, uh, Monte Carlo analysis is used when we have independent events which uh, distribution and uh, uh, we know, but uh, as the whole uh, system uh, expected uh, the outcome is not clear right so then we run the system uh, analysis many times uh, and then we get the uh, uh, result uh, with the requested probability and uh, this solution is uh, done together with uh, uh, using cameo systems modeler which supports uh, Monte Carlo analysis it uh, has uh, histograms that uh, can uh, output the data of uh, each uh, single execution uh, uh, any properties uh, or what was generated randomly and uh, selected uh, from the predefined ones also it has the ability to run uh, many times like 500 times for example the same execution silently without any kind of animation so runs quickly and then output results so now let's switch to this uh, model which we already demonstrated into in this first part and uh, here is the CR lines model. So I will uh, have this uh, uh, life cycle of the aircraft, and then I have uh, five uh, types of uh, uh, aircraft running at the same time. Uh, we could multiply here to the 50 uh, aircraft a total of 500 uh, if we want. Uh, uh, but uh, uh, idea is uh, to identify as the smallest model which we want to use it in order not to uh, complicate things. Uh, and uh, then uh, we have here time to failure, which is generated based on a normal distribution. Uh, so we will, we have mean as 100 and standard deviation as uh, 20. So here we have one of the distributions uh, which are automatically generated for every type of aircraft, right? So it means that every run we have this and uh, generated automatically and uh, uh, we have five aircraft, so we don't know the outcome, you know, when they will co start competing for resources for the maintenance. So waiting time uh, depends on that and uh, uh, <clears throat> on mission time also depends on that. And here repair time also it is um, with the normal distribution. So those, uh, those kind of things uh, create uncertainty on the uh, final result. And uh, what we want to achieve, we want to... Uh, find the best uh, uh, number of resources uh, which we need to pay to to keep them in order to to support the fleet uh, so we will uh, analyze the total profit uh, uh, which is based on those different uh, par parameters which again we demonstrated in the previous model and we'll uh, track which uh, total profit uh, is the biggest one uh, on uh, based on which resources uh, number right so if less resources it'll be less for resources but maybe waiting time will be larger right so we will run this model we selected to run this model 40 times and uh, with 500 uh, days uh, of the execution and we will run a few times uh, in order to change the resources and uh, now the first execution will be with the free resources let's run let's pick the monte carlo analysis and let's execute this project. We have uh, almost completed uh, execu execution now. And just a couple of more iterations. And it took uh, uh, four minutes, uh, 30 seconds to run uh, 30 times. And we see that uh, mean is uh, 4,200. So let's record that uh, into the Excel. So we're we'll doing this uh, analysis and uh, we are recording with three resources, 4,200. Okay, three resources, 4,200. Now let's save it. And also we see this all data exported, right? So we can load the data. All the properties which we selected uh, to export here we can see them here so here in this uh, histogram we could close this histogram actually uh, and um, 
we see here also file export where we can pick what properties we want to track including the number of resources at that moment uh, and we'll run again so we'll be now two resources and let's run Monte Carlo analysis uh, we will uh, we changed uh, we specified that we will run uh, uh, 30 300 days and uh, 30 times okay let's run again so we got execution results from the uh, two with two resources we see that the uh, mean uh, row is 3000 so let's record this 3000 and um, also let's check what was the output of the data so let's go here and uh, here we have output of the data and now we see it uh, uh, per each run so every run generated output so because we executed 30 times so we see every run output and maybe some of those runs out of the scope uh, we can uh, you know exclude them if the data is uh, out of the scope and then uh, do the analysis again so for example we are here about profit and we see here sometimes it's negative because of some uh, bottlenecks uh, situations run this monte carlo analysis with this setup so we finish execution with single resource and here we see that in this case uh, minus 2915 2815 so let's let's record the data 2815 and uh, now let's go back to this uh, source of the uh, data here and we can see what was the absolute mission time absolute weight uh, time absolute uh, workshop time this is the days in total spent on that uh, during this uh, execution instance so we see that for example wait time would be higher than uh, than uh, the one which with two resources and three resources and that is critical and mission time is the shortest one in the with one resource case right and then uh, the <laughs> money uh, received on mission is also the least one now what we will do here we will uh, run this model with the four resources and see if this makes sense and, may, and then later we'll find uh, run the five resources and see that the profit goes or do drops uh, and five resources is the, the pretty much no bottlenecks right uh, every time something breaks we will have extra resource uh, available so now we got results of the uh, four resources and here we see this is uh, 3955 let's go back here 3955 and now let's run the five resources uh, again five resources let's execute let's save the project So we got uh, final results and uh, here we see that with five resources we have minus 3400 so let's go back here and enter and we see that uh, the optimal configuration is uh, uh, three resources 